Hello everyone and I wish you all a very happy new year and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I am Naman and today in this video of getting started series we will be discussing about web development. So first of all let's see what exactly is web development. Well the name itself is self explanatory and probably every person on the planet has interacted with a website at least once in their life. You must be thinking why web development? Well, in this digital era, almost all businesses, organizations use websites to promote their brands, events, etc. Websites are almost everywhere and so is the demand of web developers. And further, in this video, we'll discuss about how you can start as a beginner and create your own advanced websites. First of all, let's discuss about the basic or the fundamental technologies that every web developer must know. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Let's dive into little details. HTML, uh, well, it's a markup language that helps you to structure a web page. CSS describes how HTML elements are to be displayed and JavaScript helps you to create interactive elements on a web page. Well, if I summarize all three of them uh, with an example, then suppose you wish to create a button on a web page. With HTML, you will define that you wish to have a button on this specific web page with CSS, you will define that how that button must look, what should be the size, the color, etc. of that button. And with JavaScript, you will define that what happens once a user clicks that button. Now I hope uh, you guys have a little intuition about all these three technologies. Uh, we have provided all the relevant uh, resources and the video tutorials. Uh, I would like to say that you guys must go and explore them. There is one more and that is Bootstrap. Well, it's an optional one. Uh, it's a library uh, that focuses on simplifying the development of informative web pages. Well, if you combine Bootstrap with CSS, then designing a uh, process of a website becomes really easy. It helps you to create uh, responsive web pages uh, easily. Now we'll be dividing the whole web development thing into two different parts, front end development and back end development. So, as you can see here, we first of all discussed about web development in general. Then we discussed about the mandatory tools, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And now we are dividing it into two different parts, front end development and back end development. So first of all, let's see front end development. Well, everything you see on a website like buttons, links, animations and more were created by a front end developer. Front end developers are in charge of the look and feel of the website. Well, there are many technologies which you can use to create front end of a website or uh, say Angular, React, etc. But talking specifically about uh, IIT Guwahati, then in most of our projects, we use uh, React.js as a front end technology. Well, it's maintained by Facebook. We have provided a relevant tutorial to it. I would like to say you guys should go and explore it. Next, let's talk about back end development. Well, it's also known as server side development and it's everything users don't see. It focuses primarily on databases, backend logics, APIs and servers. Again, there are many languages using which you can create backend of a website. But in most of our projects, uh, we use Django or Node.js. Well, Node.js revolves around JavaScript, whereas Django revolves around Python. We have provided tutorials to both of them. I would say go and explore both of them. And whichever you feel comfortable with, uh, continue your backend development journey with that particular language. Now that's all uh, from web development end. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any doubt, uh, you can ask it in YouTube comment section, or you can also ask it in our community on Discord. We'll be really happy to help you all. Uh, thank you and happy getting started.